Hey you guys, it has been a minute it feels like, right? It is ICI Candy back with another video. How have you guys been? We're in the second week of 2020 and are you guys holding yourselves to the standards that you set for yourselves in terms of resolutions, in terms of things you wanted to happen for yourselves? Are you guys keeping all your promises so far? Well, if not, don't worry. I'm here to give you some positive motivation to get you back on track just in case you haven't and that positive motivation is coming from none other than our boy Omarion. Check this out. It's about self-reflecting because I saw how far I could take it. You'd be like, hey man, I don't know. I could be acting a damn fool right now. So just to bring you up to speed, Omarion is talking about how the Little Fizz and April situation could have brought him out of character and that he could have been acting a fool, he could have reacted, but he decided to take the high road and take self-control because he knew his power. He knew that he was able to control it if he did not feed into the negativity. But he's human, so he made it very clear like that he saw how he could have made the situation worse he saw that he could have been petty and reacted to the situation to get it to make it bigger than what it needed to be he saw that but he realized that at the end of the day it wasn't about him and it wasn't about her and it wasn't about fizz it was about their family and he chose to make the right decision. I'm going to let you guys hear that in a minute. But first, before we get into that, I need you to like this video. I would like you to subscribe, guys. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please join the family. Another thing you can do for me is share the video. Share it to your friends and family if you think that they'd be interested in the topics I cover or if you think they would be interested in some positive motivation or just hearing a little tea for the day. Share, your, share the video and get it out there. And then last but not least, I want you to comment down below. Give me your information. Give me your feedback. Give me what you're thinking. One of the main things I love about starting this channel is being able to have a place where you can connect and talk and give opinions and feedback and just talk about it. You know, where you can just kind of say your thoughts and say how you feel. The rest on the Marianne coming right up. I know that you don't need me. It's kind of sexy when I want it, but you tease me. And you don't let them get inside of your head. Cause you know when I leave, I'll be back to your bed. Cause girl, we got a good thing. So I can't let them fuck this up ready for wedding ranks. One of a kind, glad your mind's such a blessing. Okay, let's get right into a recent interview Omarion did with Essence Magazine. Start with the crown and then you go down. You feel me? Bless yourself up. Bless up. Bless up. Bless up. Start with the crown and then you go down. You feel me? Bless yourself up. Bless up. Bless up. Bless up. So as you can see, Omarion does not play. He makes sure any evil that's against him that nothing forms against him will ever prosper he blesses himself from the head to the feet to make sure he has all the positive energy to take him throughout whatever he is going through in life you know what i'm saying and when you're a serious person like me you know you gotta consider all things and i think when you know yourself well enough that's the first thing you do you know you be like hey man hold on i could be acting a damn fool right now but is that the best thing to do? You know what I mean? Um, so yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And when you're a serious person like me, you know, you gotta consider all things. And I think when you know yourself well enough, that's the first thing you do. You know, you be like, hey man, hold on. I could be acting a damn fool right now. But is that the best thing to do? You know what I mean? Um, so yeah. <laughs> this man smile, I swear. <laughs> and he really could have continued being petty. Nice like this. I wish raindrops would fall. Nice like this. I wish. Nice like. But instead, Omarion chooses to be positive. He chooses to be uplifting, and he chooses himself. He chooses self-control. Grand Rising. <laughs> Shout out to all of the dads that drop their kids off to school every morning. Hey. 
Omarion also chooses wisely the people he keeps around him. He chooses friendship, he chooses brotherhood, he chooses loyalty. And you'll see that in everyone that he keeps very close. Three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten and eleven and twelve and thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. <laughs> Nothing but positive vibes. Peace. Love and abundance, y'all. Have an awesome day. Have an awesome night. I love you. You love you. Yiddy! In week two, week two of uh, 2020. So I hope that, you know, you're keeping it up. You're keeping it together. You know, um, I hope you're not doing the same stuff you was doing a couple weeks ago. Don't do that. Don't do that. One of my favorites. <laughs> Ah, yo, King, you good, man? You good? You do your workout today, man? You, you straight? Pick yourself up, man. Do your stuff, man. Hey, hey. Hey, ladies. How you doing, Queen? How you feeling? You taking care? You being sweet? Yeah, have an awesome day. Have an have awesome, awesome day. I love you. you. You love me. They are so cute. Another one who's just as great as Amarion is Orion, his brother. The young girl you see behind him, that's his daughter. I believe the daughter that he had with Janae Aiko. And that is Mega right down below. That is Omarion's son. And they are so cute. They instill positive vibes and, you know, good feelings and all of that in their kids from so young. The motto that he has of I love you, you love you, you know, let's do this and you dig. He's instilling it as something cool, something amazing, something beautiful from a very young age. And that's going to carry through with them despite all the drama and all the craziness that they're going to see later on when they get older. So... They are so blessed and fortunate to have not just one, but two phenomenal young black men in their lives as role models. I'm telling you, I love it. And I think it's so necessary. And Omarion is the first one to tell you that I'm pretty sure despite all the things that happened with he and April, he realizes the good and the bad. And I know a lot of people feel like they're on April's side, that he left her stranded. He didn't leave her stranded. He realized that she was not the one for him. So I'll end off with this quote. Some people don't come in your life to love you, but to use you. Some people aren't loyal to you. They're loyal to what they can get from you. And that's facts. And I really think that was a huge part of Omarion making the decision to continue life focusing on his kids and on his brand and on his music and less on nonsense. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, please like, comment, subscribe, share this video if you care. All right. I want to spread this out. I love Omarion. I know you guys do, too. And I just want to spend positive bribes. We're in week number two of the new year, 2020. And I just wanted to drop a little of this on you so that you can kind of start your week number three on a positive note. Start off thinking about what positive people you want to keep in your life. Think about some of the things Orion and Omarion mentioned. Telling yourself daily you love yourself telling yourself daily that you appreciate yourself because you got to take care of you before you move forward in anything that you do in life you got to take care of you because you're your main concern and if you're not okay how can you take care of the loved ones that you have around you so anyway guys i just wanted to spread some positive vibes if that video uplifted you if the interview that you saw was something that you hadn't seen the essence interview tell me what you think about that tell me what you think about um, the thoughts on him having the option that he could have been petty to little fizz but he chose not to tell me what you think about that quote about april leave the comment down below i'd love to hear what you guys think about it all all right bye bye on my twitter my instagram which i'm gonna drop here for you and my snapchat 
looking forward to hear from you guys. Eve, I'll be back to your bed. Cause girl, we got a good thing. So I can't let them fuck this up ready for wedding rings. One of a kind, glad you're mine. When I leave, I'll be back to your bed. Cause girl, we got a good thing. So I can't let them fuck this up ready for wedding rings. One of a kind, glad you're mine.